Once we had ZGen functioning properly, we took it into a sleep lab using polysomnography to measure the actual effects that this device was having on human sleep. So I'd like to review our experience uh, in our sleep lab. Um, we took four individuals who had gotten a good night of sleep um, the, the night before, uh, got a full eight hours, um, and we asked them to come into the laboratory in the late morning um, to be monitored to take a nap. Um, now, your sleep drive is minimal at that point during the day, and, you, and your wake drive is, is predominant. So people came in and they got hooked up. And in um, what we noticed in virtually each of them was something rather dramatic. The normal progression from wakefulness to sleep is that alpha waves begin to dissipate. We begin to see um, a breakthrough of what we call slow rolling eye movements. And this is usually uh, um, something that we see at the end of light stage one sleep. Stage one sleep is the kind of sleep that if you're sleep, lying on the couch watching TV and then somebody says, hey, you're sleeping, you go, no, I wasn't. Okay, you're not sure if you're asleep or not. It's very, very light. Um, but what we observed was that the eye movements that accompanied it, while they were normal in appearance, the duration um, was extended and like something we hadn't seen before. And the only thing that could account for that would be some external source that was having an impact on the individual's brain. So for our, to our observation, we were in training um, our subjects sleep waves. Well, normally during the course of sleep progression, there's, you know, we move around a lot. And especially if you're sleeping somewhere where you are not used to sleeping, especially if you're wearing a bunch of wires um, um, on your head and around your waist and et cetera, encumbering, uh, encumbrance, uh, the encumbrance of those electrodes uh, can disturb sleep. These people didn't move. They didn't move. They slept soundly, they slept quietly, um, and they slept deeply. Our subjects were woke up refreshed, and the one um, female subject who, who normally reports waking up with headache or body aches woke up feeling refreshed. To be able to accomplish this in the middle of the day, to be able to get similar reproducible results across these people, um, um, the, including the train, long trains of, of uh, slow rolling eye movements, suggests that we have identified a biological um, marker of sleep activity and that we're able to manipulate that. We were thrilled to see the, the kind of results we got. Not only did we put people to sleep, which we already knew, but we put them into Delta sleep, which was, that was the major goal. We're not aware of anything out on the market that does that today. This is the deepest stage of sleep. And this is the stage of sleep that is phenomenally restorative, rejuvenating, and during which you're in this stage of sleep, you secrete growth hormone. This is a vital hormone that affects every cell in your body. And this is what accounts for so many of the healing benefits of sleep. Simply, SMS will help you fall asleep and stay asleep, but most importantly, it will enhance your Delta sleep.